Hi friend, bad news today. Amazon has announced that starting February 26, they're removing the download and transfer via USB feature for Kindle e-readers. This feature has been around for a long time, letting you and me manually download and transfer eBooks to your Kindle using a PC or Mac. But after this change, the only way to get your books onto your device will be through Amazon's cloud-based delivery system. Now, why does this matter? Well, it basically means Amazon doesn't want us downloading and backing up our books ourselves. Instead, they want us to rely entirely on their cloud service, which I don't like and in my opinion comes with a lot of drawbacks, which I will talk in a second. Before I dive in into my thoughts on this, let's clear up some confusion because a lot of people have been misunderstanding what this change actually means. First off, if you buy books from the Kindle store and download them directly to your Kindle via Wi-Fi, or if you're reading on the Kindle app, this change won't affect you at all. You can keep using your Kindle exactly as you do now. Also, Amazon's Send to Kindle page is not going anywhere. That feature will still work the same, letting me and you send personal documents and compatible eBooks to your Kindle through email or the app. And if you prefer the old school method, you can still plug your Kindle into your computer and sideload your DRM free eBooks and personal documents via USB. So what's actually changing? Only the ability to manually download Kindle store books from the Amazon website to your computer or Mac. This is being completely removed. For those who manage their ebook collection outside of Amazon, tools like Calibre will still work. So this isn't a complete lockdown of the Kindle. Just Amazon making sure you can't download and back up Kindle store books outside of their system. If you're worried about Amazon limiting access to your purchased books, there are ways to make sure you stay in control of your library. The first thing I'd recommend is heading over to Amazon's website, going to the Manage Your Content and Devices section and downloading all your books using the Download and Transfer via USB option while it's still available. This way you have local copies before Amazon removes this feature altogether. Now, if you have a ton of books like myself, doing this manually can be a nightmare. But luckily, a Reddit user named Hollindell created a script that automates the process, saving you from clicking the same thing over and over again for each book. I will link his GitHub repository in the description so you can check it out. One important thing to note, these downloaded books will likely have DRM protection, which means you won't be able to open them on any other device. If you want to remove DRM, I've made two videos explaining how to do that and I will link them at the end of this video, so you can give it a try. Now here's where things get frustrating. There are quite a few downsides to this whole change. First, it locks you and me even farther into Amazon's ecosystem. If you were hoping to use an open source ebook reader app or transfer your Kindle purchases to another reader, that's not going to be possible anymore. We're essentially stuck with Kindles. But here's the bigger issue. Amazon can delete books you already paid for. This isn't just a theory. It has already happened in the past due to licensing issues. If a publisher pulls the rights to a book, Amazon can remove it from your library and your only option may be to ask for a refund if they even offer one. Another risk to consider, if you lose access to your Amazon account, you lose all your books. That's why I highly recommend setting up two-step verification and making sure your account is secure. And if you're someone who uses Calibre to manage your purchased Kindle books, this change makes things worse because you won't be able to download Kindle books anymore, which means no backups, no conversions, no organization outside of Amazon system. At the end of the day, this change really highlights that you don't actually own Kindle books. You're just renting them. It's something we'll all kind of know when it comes to digital content, but it's frustrating because buying books on Amazon doesn't feel like a rental unless you're using Kindle Unlimited. So what do you think about all this? Drop your thoughts in the comments as I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to try removing DRM protection from your purchased books, here are the videos that show you how to do it. All the best and I will see you in the next one. Bye.